The ghost of El Nino has been disrupting our summer pattern, Canada. Let's have a mid-season check-in. Now, our forecast was saying that we were going to be above normal for a large swath of the country. And from June 1st to mid-July, that actually did verify in the east. But for the prairies, it was a bit of a slower-than-expected start. Fast forward to the second week of July, things really heated up across a large swath of southern Canada. We got up to 42 degrees in Lytton, B.C., for example, 36 in Edmonton through that week. Now we had our forecast based on that classic La Nina pattern. That's what we were moving into. Those cold waters were there in the tropical Pacific back in May. But as we've moved into this summer, it seems like La Nina put a little bit of a pause. Those temperatures warmed up in the Pacific Ocean and we're going to see a persistence of this really hot temperature situation in Western Canada through the third week of July. That heat dome pushing temperatures above 30 degrees degrees and in Ontario and Quebec will continue to see those cool shots of air. And if you're thinking in Ontario and Quebec, I want a refund on my summer. It's been too rainy. The problem is we've had the heat and humidity clashing with the cold temperatures and that's created convective systems. I have some good news if you want some drier conditions in the east. We have for the final 10 days of July some drier weather, but for the west that dry weather could certainly be a problem for the wildfire risk. The preliminary August outlook large swath of Canada should be above normal.